Hello and welcome. My name is Tony. I hope everybody's having a really good day and today I'm going to come with uh, a tutorial here about how you can uh, embed a YouTube video into your website and how to make it autoplay. Um, now there's a few things I have to show you here because you might be here from WordPress wondering how to make this work because in WordPress what I'm about to show does not work so I'm going to get to that as well and if you are here from WordPress um, and you're watching this from YouTube make sure you go to the description below and uh, check out the article link I left there it's going to have a special code that you need in order to make this work so uh, I'm going to start off with how you do this on a regular web page uh, HTML web page uh, first you got to go to YouTube and you know choose the video that you want to use you come down here uh, to the share button click that uh, in embed it's going to give you a code now um, typically it'll show like this and I'll have this code you you can go show more and choose your different options of what you want your video to have on your website plus the the dimensions so then grab that code uh, for people that don't know, Control A um, selects all, Control C is copy. And then you go back to your website and Control V for paste. Now, what you're going to want to do here is in your iframe code that it gives you, you want to go to the URL section and right at the end, um, you'll notice that there's a question mark here. You want to put in autoplay equals one and then a semicolon. Okay. Um, now, just because some of the, the URLs aren't going to look like this, I'm going to show you what to do if that question mark isn't there. So sometimes all you will get here is that. So in that case, you just put a question mark, autoplay equals one, and that's it. No semicolon. Okay? So regardless of you know what your URL looks like, you have to have question mark autoplay equals one. And if there is code after that question mark you put in autoplay equals one and don't forget the semicolon now if you save your HTML file and pop it up in a browser your video should pop up and work but uh, I just want to show you guys if you're from WordPress if I were to try this on my wordpress.com site it is not going to work I can open that page and the videos will display, but they're not going to autoplay. So I'm going to show you what to do in this case. So if you go to my uh, post that I left below this video, um, you're going to want to grab this code that I have right here. Copy that. Go back to your site. And place that code where you want it to show. Okay, and we're going to go back to the video from YouTube, go up to the URL, oh, I better refresh this because it's not how it should be. There we go. From Gordy Howe. Now, this is how typically the URL will show. What you want to do is take out the watch question mark and replace the equal sign the forward slash if you grab that copy it um, go back to your site where you pasted that code you're going to replace this paste modified URL with the code that you just created and that's as easy as it is if you save and preview you will notice now that in your WordPress.com blog, 
you have a functional autoplay video. Now, before I go, I just want to mention um, I, in the code that I gave you, there's some dimensions here. Uh, make sure you go in and change those to your desired size before you publish, and uh, you're good to go. So if you found this useful, um, I'd appreciate any likes or comments, uh, but as well, if you are having any issues with this or uh, with anything else that has to do with HTML coding, um, feel free to go to the comment section below and ask your questions. Uh, I've got a lot of experience in uh, web development, web design, graphic design, so um, go ahead and ask your questions. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Folks, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.